This morning, hospitals and urgent care centers are bracing for a post-Thanksgiving triple-demic threat of COVID, RSV, and the flu. I don't see how there won't be another big spike. We've opened ICU beds, we've opened floor beds, we've changed the way our emergency department works, we've got a tent up outside for our emergency room. With many children's emergency rooms packed and wait times stretching hours, some urgent care centers are overflowing with pediatric patients. Our book ahead slots absolutely fill up uh, the day before, so we are seeing the surge. Health experts say decreased immunity may be one reason for this season's early and severe spike of child respiratory virus infections. Hospitals already overwhelmed with RSV patients now say flu cases are rising fast. The CDC reports half of U.S. states are experiencing high or very high flu-like activity. Child after child. We're doing the swab, we're getting the test, and it's coming back positive for flu. New concerns this morning that common flu medications like Tamiflu are in high demand. We are definitely seeing shortages in some areas uh, of supplies of common antibiotics like amoxicillin, which is the first line medication for things like otitis media or ear infections, as well as Tamiflu and some other medicines as well. Johnson & Johnson, which makes brand name Children's Tylenol, says there's been high demand, but we're not experiencing an overall shortage. Now, there are often alternatives for medication, so be sure to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you find that yours is in short supply. Doctors also say that it's still not too late to get your flu or COVID vaccine for you and your kids if you haven't already. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington.